What is cost, volume, profit analysis, and what are the relationships between various metrics there in that analysis? Well, to start with, uh, the CVP analysis is simply how uh, changes in costs, that is fixed and variable costs, how changes in those and any changes in the volume of sales of the organization ultimately affect profitability. Okay, what are some things you need to know to determine that? Well, to start with, you need to know contribution margin, net income, variable expense ratio, and break even. Okay, so let's dig a little bit deeper and see how we apply each of those. So to start with, your contribution margin and your variable expense ratio. So contribution margin is simply your revenue minus your variable costs. Okay, so variable cost being the things that the cost you incur anytime you sell an item or sell a unit or sell an hour of service or whatever, right? So the more you sell, these costs go up commensurately as you sell. So revenue minus variable cost equals contribution margin. So this is a very important concept that will help you in the rest of the cost volume analysis, right? Uh, from there, you can get a contribution margin ratio. Okay, this is your contribution margin that we just calculated divided by your total sales revenue. Okay, now this will be useful again in a moment as a metric for uh, determining a couple of other things in the break even analysis. All right, and then you have your variable expense ratio, and that's your total variable cost. All right, the things that we cut out yeah, as part of contribution margin from revenue. Right, so your total variable cost divided by total sales. Okay, so once again, that you'll see where this is useful in a minute. So one thing we need to determine as part of the cost volume profit analysis is the break even point. At what point do you break even with regard to sales? So uh, to figure this out, you'd say, what are your total fixed costs, right? And then you would divide that by your contribution margin per unit. Okay, if you do, this will tell you the number of items you need to sell to hit break even. All right. Very important number for companies. It is the, the target, the goal, the objective that must be achieved generally at a minimum uh, for longevity to sustain yourself. Okay. Then you can start doing the analysis, the, the what if analysis or the simulation analysis, whatever you want to call it, and uh, propose certain to see what happens with changes in net income. So what you do is to determine a uh, specific number of units you'd need to sell to achieve a certain um, net income, right? Um, you would project your total profit. You'd say, okay, here's all our fixed costs. Here's the profit we need or expect based upon our investment or based upon what our investors are, are seeking, that type of thing. Fixed cost plus, plus total profit expected. If you divide that by your contribution margin, which once again, contribution margin is what? It's revenue minus variable cost. So if you divide those, the fixed cost plus the total profit that you expect by your contribution margin ratio, right, then that will give you the number of units you need uh, to achieve that expected uh, profit target. Okay. Uh, another metric that's relevant there is your margin of safety. The, uh, that's your actual sales minus your break-even sales. So that's basically, uh, as the name implies, it's your safety margin, how, how uh, far you are above or how far you exceeded that minimum break-even point. And then lastly, uh, degree of operating leverage. And this is your contribution margin divided by your net income. Uh, and this tells you generally how net income changes in relation to changes in sales because other things stay in constant, variable cost and fixed cost. Well, if fixed costs stay the same to a certain portion, but variable costs um, escalate with how much you sold, you need to be able to determine the degree of operating leverage that you have using these metrics. So these are the primary relationships that you need to use and employ uh, in doing a cost volume profit analysis.